all the creamy, dreamy taste you love. But with zero sugar carbs, sugar-free cream savers. Coming up next, Andy Griffith, Eric McCormick, Mary Tyler Moore, Ben Stiller, Farrah Fawcett, Sharon Stone, Danny DeVito, Liza Minnelli, Freddie Prince Jr., Valerie Harper, George Lopez, Ed Asner, Billy Bob Thornton, Marlo Thomas, Jane Seymour, Don Knotts. Come to honor their favorites at the 2004 TV Land Awards. This year featuring cast reunions of Gilligan's Island, Mary Tyler Moore, The Andy Griffith Show. Brad Garrett hosts the 2004 TV Land Awards. Next. And now, an original TV Land presentation. Oh, 
facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you gotta go and show you're growing. Now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. When the world never seems to be living up, up to your dreams. dreams. And suddenly you're finding out the facts of life are all The 2004 TV Land Awards from the stylish Hollywood Palladium. All the top celebrities are on hand to honor the shows and stars of classic television that you voted as your favorites. With special tributes to some of the legends who defined an era and still continue to entertain new generations of viewers. The glitz, the grace, the glamour. From Sunset Boulevard in the heart of Hollywood, it's the event of a lifetime. It's the TV Land Awards. Featuring Andy Griffith, Don Knotts, Jim Neighbors, Don Holly, and the cast of The Andy Griffith Show, the cast of Arrested Development, B. Arthur, Max Fair Jr., Danny Bonanucci, Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, she rocks, Charo, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gary Coleman, The Cows Hill, Brandon Cruz, Danny DeVito, Tony Dow, Donna Douglas, Patty Duke, Barbara Eaton, Chad Everett, Peter Falk, Farrah Fawcett, the cast of Gilligan's Island, Bob Denver, Russell Johnson, Tina Louise, Don well. It's really nice to have the whole family together. Larry Hagman, Arsenio Hall, Catherine Hellman, Sherman Hemsley, Eartha Kitt. TV Land is marvelous. David Lander, Ted Land, George Lopez, Lisa Laurie, the cast of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, John Amos, Ed Asner, Valerie Harper, Loris Leachman, Gavin McLeod, Mary Tyler Moore, Betty White, Jerry Mather, Eric McCormick, Michael McKee, Ed McMahon, Lee Merriweather, Liza Manelli. I'm more excited than I was at the Oscars. Julie Lumar, Tony Orlando, and Dawn. Butch Patrick, Freddie Prinze Jr., Charlotte Ray, Isabel Sanford, Jane Seymour, Sybil Shepard, Kristen Ryan Sutter, Sally Struthers, Ben Stiller, Sharon Stone, the cast of Survivor All Star, Marlo Thomas, Billy Bob Thornton, and Lisa Welchel. <laughs> Welcome your host for the show, from Everybody Loves Raymond, two-time Emmy Award winner, Brad Garris. to the second annual TV Land Awards. The second 
annual TV Land Awards. What a joy it is to be associated with such a long-standing tradition, everybody. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I'm hosting. Is it the honor? Is it the prestige? Is it the fact that the wife wants a new kitchen that costs exactly $3,000? <laughs> well, it's all of those three, especially the last one. <laughs> Let me just take a minute. This is, this is very exciting for me. I, I want to be honest about how I really feel tonight. All of you in this room are truly my heroes. You made me laugh. You inspired me. Not so much Table 95, but <laughs> just the fact that there were no Jews in Mayberry really made me try even harder. <laughs> we're just not good at skipping rocks. I don't know what it is. It's amazing. All the stars of television are here. Linda Carter, you're so beautiful. I have to tell you, the first time... <laughs> She's amazing. The first time when I was growing up and I saw your show and you spun around and you turned into Wonder Woman, I threw my back out. <laughs> I just, and Patty Do, it's just great to see you. Patty Do. I watched your show and ever I wanted the rest of my life was just a pair of identical twins. It's unbelievable. And there's a cast of Gilligan's Island where, uh, look at that. Uh, now, I don't know if you know, there's a lot of talk about bringing back Gilligan's Island. Uh, most of the talk is just at their table, but it's talk. Uh, as long as it's talk. There's Charo. I love Charo. She knows that. Oh, yeah. All right, take it easy. You're, you're, okay, you're scaring the facts of life table. Please put that away. We're all here to pay tribute to the classic TV shows and the stars who still light up our screens many years after they first hit the airwaves. What makes a show a classic? Well, characters that people care about, superb acting, great writing, and most of all, honesty. There are great truths in classic TV. Back in the 60s, Rob and Laura had separate beds because the network didn't want America to know married people had sex. Come on, folks, we know the truth. Married people don't have sex. That's why I'm up here tonight staring at Wonder Woman. Okay, there goes the back. There goes the back. The shows we're honoring are classics that have stood the test of time. We're presenting two types of awards tonight. We're recognizing the programs, characters, and performers you, the viewers, have voted for on TVLand.com. In addition, the experts of TV Land have selected some special honors to bestow this evening. And now, here to give out our first piece of hardware. Please welcome two people who are truly icons of television. They are reuniting tonight as the stars of I Dream of Jeannie, Barbara Eden, and Larry Hagman. When my character, uh, uh, astronaut Tony Nelson, first meets Jeannie in 1965, after crash landing on a desert island, he was in his early 30s. My character, on the other hand, <clears throat> was born in 64 BC. And so she was over a little 2,000 years old, uh, but we, that's rude, isn't it, we to don't talk, talk about, about age, it, no. no. Ours was TV's first older woman, younger man romance. <laughs> Jimmy Moore, eat your heart out. <laughs> and beyond that, Barbara also got to play her troublemaking sister, Jeannie, and she won the same award we're about to give out tonight. She won it last year. And here were your choices this year. Favorite dual role characters. And B. Davis as Alice and Emma Nelson, the Brady Bunch. Cousin Alice, my wonderful platoon has made a farewell party for old Sarge. Oh, well, isn't that nice? See, I told you the Brady's were something pretty special. Patty Duke as Patty and Kathy Lane, the Patty Duke Show. You know what they say, the scary fox is gone with you. You speak Latin. The only Latin I know is Paul Anka. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Louise as Ginger Grant and Eva Grubb, Gilligan's Island. I couldn't look like you, Ginger. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Now, what do you see? I'm the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. A 
award shows usually have the winners' names in sealed envelopes. But on the TV Land Awards, they're put in these TV dinners. <laughs> see? Mm -hmm. Let's open it up and see who the viewer's choice for favorite dual role characters is. Okay, let's see. Huh. And the winner is Patty Duke. Is Patty and Patty May? years ago uh, that Sidney Sheldon, after spending a couple of days with me, decided that I was at least two characters. Later we found out it was multiple personalities. Um, on behalf of my cousin, identical cousin Kathy, who's off on an archaeological dig, uh, and the whole Lane family. I would like to thank the TV Land viewers and TV Land most especially for keeping us all getting new generations all the time. Okay, Kathy, I'm bringing it up. The 2004 TV Land Awards are presented by Redlaw. <laughs> Up next, Billy Bob Thornton and a special tribute to The Andy Griffith Show. My favorite show of all time, definitely The Andy Griffith Show. And say by the Bell, but that's a whole other story. And find out who will be TV Land's bossiest boss. And Sharon Stone, Ben Stiller, Liza Minnelli. So and Ed McMahon. Here's TV Land. TV Land Awards is presented by Revlon. This is where ordinary lashes end and fantasy begins. Lash fantasy. Nourishing primer. Triple the lift. Intense color. Double the thickness. Five times the impact for longer, thicker, ravishing lashes. Fantasy? Meet reality. Lash fantasy. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. This spring, you don't need tools. You need the right tools. And you'll find them at the Sears National Tool Set. Tools you can count on for the perfect cut. Tremendous accuracy. All the top brands, including Craftsman, America's number one tool brand. The Craftsman Circular Saw with laser track technology. And the 10-inch compound miter saw. And right now, you'll find power tools, mechanics tool sets, and tool storage on sale. If you need it, it's at the Sears National Tool Sale. Sears, good life, great price.
Here's all you have to do. If it's a tough stain, just blot with a sponge, rub with your thumbs, then scratch with your nails. Next, take the toothbrush and work it in a counterclockwise motion. After that, use the loofah. Really work it in. You've got muscles. Go ahead and use them. If it's a real tough stain, use a hairbrush. Little scrape, little scrub, simple as pie. Or use our easy new stain brush and pre-treat with Tide. Its rotating bristles are gentle on fabrics, tough on stains, easy on you. New Tide Stain Brush, the easy way out. We made it more. We made it better. We made it faster. Comcast doubled the speed of its already blazing fast internet for the same great price. So what will you do with the twice as fast power of Comcast high-speed internet? Call now and get Comcast high-speed internet for just $29.99 a month for the next six months. Thinking about HD service? Well, you have a choice. With DirecTV, you may need to buy an expensive receiver for each HD TV, a bigger dish, and to get all your local HD channels, you'll need an antenna. But with Comcast Digital Cable, we just replace your digital box, and all your HD programs will come in crystal clear. HD TV from Comcast Digital Cable. One call, one box, and you're all set. It's the easiest way to get the most from your HD TV. Call Comcast today. and they're spooky. Please welcome Wednesday Adams from the Adams family, Lisa Loring, and Eddie Munster from the Munsters, Butch Patrick. There's lots of ghosts in this building, which only makes the people handing out our trophies tonight feel right at home. Eddie, Eddie. Eddie. Careful with the trophies, Eddie. Where'd they go? Oh, she's upset at me. I, sorry, I don't do Gomez. Not for $3,000, I don't. Billy Bob Thornton, what can you say? He's an Academy Award winning writer. He's also an accomplished actor and director and one of the stars of the upcoming movie, The Alamo. Now, I haven't seen it, but I assume he plays a rent-a-car agent. So please, if you will, welcome Mr. Billy Bob Thornton. It was the year that John F. Kennedy was elected president. It was also the year the chairman of the FCC, Newton Minow, famously declared TV a vast wasteland. It was also the year we were all introduced to the citizens of Mayberry, North Carolina on the Andy Griffith Show. Hey, Chorus. The Andy Griffith Show got me through my childhood. Anytime I was down, I would just dream I was in Mayberry. It was a childhood we all wanted. It lasted eight years, 249 episodes, and was always in the top 10 shows of the year, every year. Andy was the driving force behind the camera as well as in front of it. He was the heart and soul of this show. Andy stood calmly in the eye of a hurricane of oddball but endearing characters that populated the town. They were undoubtedly the most colorful collection of characters ever to appear on television. Let's take a look. one thing about the Andy Griffith show to show you that how big an impression it made on me being one of seven children from a blue-collar family in Chicago the thing that's so powerful for me is that after my parents had worked so hard every single day when they were watching the Andy Griffith show, they were truly lost for a moment. Not only just laughing at the show, but relating to the characters. Well, if you won't let me pay you for my key, at least let me help you do some of your chores. Well, that's not necessary, Gomer. You're a guest. Well, I feel like I ought to do something. <laughs> well, if it'll make you feel better, go ahead. <laughs> Homer! 
Hey, Gomer! Hi, Andy. What's the matter? Can you sleep? Andy was the guy who continued to say, let's not do jokes. He'd say, if it sounds like a joke, throw it out. At the core of it was just good values and a good relationship between a father and a son. And I think that's what made it uh, as successful as it was. You remember me telling you to be careful with this thing? I'm sorry, Pa. That won't bring that bird back to life. I think we all have an emotional response to The Andy Griffith Show, not only because it's from our childhood, but if you watch an episode today, if you just have never seen the show and you're flipping through and you end up on TV land and there's The Andy Griffith Show, you're going to get involved, you're going to believe, and you're going to care, and you're going to laugh. That's pretty amazing storytelling. It is brilliant, and it'll last forever. Hey, it sure looks awful empty, don't it, Pa? Yes, son, it sure does. Don't the trees seem nice and full? That's pretty darn cool, huh? To accept the Legend Award, please welcome some of those good citizens of Mayberry, the cast of The Andy Griffith Show. Accepting for the Andy Griffith Show, our five-time Emmy winner for his role of Barney Fife, Don Knox, Thelma Lou, Betty Lynn, Ellie Walker, Eleanor Donahue, Gomer Pyle, Jim Neighbors, Peter Pyle, George Lindsay, Ernest D. Bass, Howard Morris, Charlene Darling, Maggie Peterson, producer Aaron Rubin, writer Harvey Bullock, theme songwriter Earl Hagen, and the star of the show, Andy Griffith. This is Opie's real dad. Uh, Sheldon Leonard came up with the idea for the old Andy Griffith show a long time ago and Aaron Rubin and I ran with it and what makes me proudest is that all of us all the writers Harvey Bullock Jim Purcell Everett Greenbaum and Aaron and I always protected the characters. Yeah, and we have all these wonderful people here on the stage today. And uh, we shot the show for, for eight years and made some lifetime friends. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, keeping this show on the air for over 40 years. Uh, now I want to I want to introduce to you my friend Aaron Rubin who is the producer and head writer of the old show and uh, Aaron, Aaron was the heart and soul of it so my friend Aaron Rubin thank you Andy I was in the business for 50 years and the best five years of those 50 were the ones that I spent working with this man on the Andy Griffith Show. Thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome the host of Star Search, past and present, Ed McMahon and Arsenio Hall. You know, on Star Search, Arsenio, we picked up a lot of, a lot of guys that went on, a lot of gals went on, like, uh, well, Ray Romano, Dennis Miller, Rosie O'Donnell, Brad Garrett, and Sinbad, Martin Lawrence. Uh, yeah, and there was also uh, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake, the Beatles, Wu-Tang Clan. 
If you don't laugh, they won't know, man. Uh, so we're well qualified to give the next award your favorite fantastic phenomenon. Now, that's what's happening sometimes. You know, sometimes the actors or the personalities, they get bigger than the shows. It's some inexplicable reason that we don't know, but the viewers have found that out, and their popularity is going to be rewarded tonight in a fantastic award. Let's see who you thought was the greatest example of that from classic television of yesteryear. Right up there. Favorite fantastic phenomenon, Davy Jones. Thank you. All right. Woo. The viewer's choice. You told me you were going to wear a football jersey. Man. <laughs> You're looking good, man, really. <laughs> the viewer's choice. Her favorite fantastic phenomenon is... Go ahead, baby. Wouldn't it be <laughs> proof that there's a guy if some lobster was inside? <laughs> Who is it? Hey. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. thank uh, TV Land, Larry Jones, and um, all the people I've ever worked with who, um, over the years, who've uh, helped create and culminate this award. I'd also like to thank the fans, obviously, for... Um, latching on to one of those things and uh, and uh, simply say thank you. I'm really very grateful. But that's all I was going to say. But now I see uh, other people. Well, Andy Griffith, I actually want to say thank you to him because I did my first um, miniseri miniseries, Murder in Texas, co-starring Andy Griffith, which... Mm, broke me out of uh, Charlie's Angels, but now I'm here again for Charlie's Angels, so, and also, uh, I have to say thank you to, of course, Aaron Spelling, and Leonard Goldberg, and Kate Jackson, and Jacqueline Smith, because, wow, well, <laughs> well, for making me, forcing me always in the middle, but anyway, it wouldn't be the same without them, so thank you all very much. Four TV Land Awards are presented by Redline. Did I do all right, Billy Bob? You did great. Right? Yes. Coming up, TV Land crowns their favorite cantankerous couple and Peter Falk and Gary Goldman. Stay tuned for more TV Land. Look out for this guy. Yeah, because I'll arrest you. And I voted for this guy. As the TV Land Awards continue. TV Land presents The Andy Griffith Show, A Bridge. There's only two kinds of cops, the quick and the dead. Barney, there is your criminal. Unforgettable TV satisfaction, TV Land. The 2004 TV Land Awards is presented by Red Lodge. The difference between natural and stay natural? 
16 hours. Stay Natural Makeup. It's a different kind of color stay. Feels lightweight. Covers flawlessly. Won't rub off. So you stay naturally beautiful for 16 hours. If I were any more natural, <laughs> you'd be blushing. Hey, you Stay Natural Makeup. Baby. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it. Unforgettable. Destination Orbitz. Beal, I hear you've got big news for travelers. Yes, sir. Now when you log on to Orbitz, it's easy to book your flight and hotel together so you can save even more. Pack your bags, America. Another mission accomplished, Beal. Walgreens has thousands of locations across America. From the corner of Elm in Maine to the corner of Montgomery and Pine to our newest location, Walgreens.com. You can manage your health care on America's healthiest website because America's favorite corner drugstore is now located on the corner of your desk. Register online or come into Walgreens Pharmacy and we'll do it for you. Walgreens.com. Another reason Walgreens is the pharmacy America trusts. wrapped around a rich and creamy center. Look for new Philly snack bites in the dairy case. From Walt Disney Pictures, it's the only home they've ever known. Don't go near any luau's. But they're gonna have to leave it in order to save it. They're gonna auction off that chicken. Now we all get eaten. Who would eat a chicken? On April 2nd, they'll do whatever it takes to get back their home. This is going to be messy. We've got a farm to save. It's zero time. <laughs> That was the best dang show we ever had! Walt Disney Pictures presents Home on the Range, rated PG, in theaters April 2nd. Say, girls. Got milk? It used to take a farmer a day to get to town. Now it takes a minute till his plane comes down, cause everything is moving too fast. You better save your money, cause everything is moving too fast. At Comcast, we bring television, communication, and technology services to people all over America. We're proud of what we do, but we're even prouder now that Comcast has joined together with the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. To help them bring their messages. Bring their messages of help, hope, and warning to our customers. Because while we're engineers, installers, and customer service representatives, we're also neighbors, friends, and parents. The auto show is over, but the deals are just beginning at Marola Chevrolet. Lease Pull Ahead is back. Lease a sporty Malibu for only $168 a month. Or get the roomy Impala for only $178 a month. The rugged Trailblazer for only $249 a month. Marola is your Corvette headquarters with a $2,000 rebate or 0% financing. Plus, get $1,000 in bonus cash on top of already fantastic incentives. Hurry, these incredible offers will end soon at Marola Chevrolet on Gratiot just south of Nine Mile and East Point. I've had some odd jobs in my life, but I've never done anything as unusual as our next guest is about to do. Years before he ran for governor, he was Arnold Jackson. Please welcome Mr. Gary Coleman. How are you tonight? I am going to put you all on the internet. Yes. That's how I'm doing. Okay. Well, now, it's very important to realize that the device on Gary's head is not a badly placed ankle monitor. <laughs> it is a camera. It is the Coleman cam. Gary, tell them what you're going to be doing with that. I'm going to go backstage and everywhere. And if you log on to TVLand.com, you can see exclusive Coleman cam footage of the green room and all the stars and backstage from my perspective. So in other words, we'll be seeing everyone's knees and feet, ladies and gentlemen, and very quickly, what do you charge for a colonoscopy? Because you can make a lot in this room tonight. I think I, I just, Gary Coleman, everybody, give him a hand before he hurts me. That's funny. I thought he'd be a lot shorter. I didn't know. I just, you know. 
Once I describe our next presenter, you will know exactly who it is. Rumpled raincoat, must appear forgetful, always mumbling to himself in the police station. No, it's not Nick Nolte. <laughs> it's Peter Falk, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Peter Falk. I've been playing uh, Colombo for, uh, well, since, uh, well, who remembers? <laughs> it's been a long time. At any rate, he's a great character, and I love him. <laughs> and I love playing him. Uh, the problem is that I never had a uh, partner I mean, Columbo worked pretty much alone, and uh, I never had anybody that I could have quick fire, back and forth, love, hate, dialogue with. I had a wife, Mrs. Columbo, uh, but the problem there is that she never showed up on the screen. <laughs> and the other problem is that Columbo was crazy about her. And me, Peter, there she is. I'm crazy about my wife. So this category is uh, the, the best cantankerous couples. Why they chose Colombo to, to present this award, I don't know. But at any rate, here, here's the bottom line. The bottom line is that I have seen the nominees, and I don't care who wins. I am honored to present the cup to any one of them. Favorite cantankerous couple, Ralph and Alice Cramden, the honeymooner. Will you shut your big mouth and stop yelling my salary? I don't want the neighbors to know how much I'm making. $52 a week, $52 a week, $52 a week. Will you stop that? I don't want my salary to leak out. <laughs> your salary couldn't drip out. <laughs> George and Wheezy Jefferson, the Jefferson. All right, we look. Let's get right down to the nitty gritty. I want to know where you've been. Just answer that. Where have you been? George, keep your voice down. Why? So you can hear me. All I want to hear from you is where you've been. Well, you ain't going to hear nothing because I'm through talking. Stanley and Helen Roper, Three's Company. Helen, you don't understand. I just wanted to prove that another woman would find me attractive, and I proved it. All right, you proved it. I want to be happy. I want to be with you. And the winner is, oh, there it is, yeah. Sherman Helmsley and Isabel Sanford and George. I'd like to say thank you very much. It's been a pleasure all these years, and uh, I'm really happy to receive this award, and it's a pleasure to be working with Isabel all this time, and still be friends, and still have the same love we've always had for each other. Thank you. Yeah, I want to say I should have received the award when I first got married. <laughs> But since I didn't, I'm thankful for this one. Thank you very much, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, here is George Lopez. Thank you very much. We've come to the We Are the World portion of the TV Land Awards. In 1974, mainstream television ventured into the barrio for the first time with a situation comedy that recognized the growing importance and the relevance of Latino culture. Okay? And that show was called Chico and the Man. That's right. 
Keep on the man. It was a very important step forward, and tonight we honor Chico and the Man with the TV Land Visionary Award. And the show was set in East LA because, you know, Brentwood wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Where an enterprising young Chicano forged an unlikely partnership and eventual friendship with an old, cynical, white garage owner. Are there any others? The man was Oscar winner Jack Albertson and his cohort and antagonist was the charismatic newcomer, Mr. Freddie Prince. I take care of my uncle's 64 Chevy, beautiful condition. <laughs> pom poms on all the antennas. Set of flying seat covers, right? Little dog in the back window with the head kiss going on. and the man was about Jack Albertson who owned a garage and he hired Freddie Prince who was Chico to help them in the garage and the comedy came in with how they related to each other. Amigo. Don't call me amigo. It means friend. I don't care what it means. Talk English. Very well friend. I would like to be the first Chicano to be associated with this grounding in the garage. The show was a hit because of the talents involved. Jack Alveson was the consummate uh, actor and former vaudevillian. And Freddie was so charming and so winning throughout his you know, brief career that he couldn't help but like him. Go get him out. He's not my job. Freddie Prince opened the door for Latinos on television. He brought forth the humor of the barrio that everyone no matter the race or creed or color could understand. You gotta watch your help every minute. Within five weeks of its first airing, Chico and the Man was the number one show in the country and Freddie Prince became a huge star overnight. The first real Latino comedy star since Desi Arnaz. Sadly, Chico the Man was also the pinnacle of an all too short career. Freddie would have turned 50 this year. He passed in 1977. And Jack Albertson, who won an Emmy for Jack, uh, for the man, left us in 1981. And it is truly an honor I never thought I would have. And I truly am, am touched and I, I love Freddie Prince Sr. And I got to know Freddie Prince Jr. and he is a friend of mine and I love him too. Here to accept TV Land's Visionary Award on behalf of Freddie Prince is Freddie Prince Jr. I love you, Freddie. Last few times I tried to speak about my father publicly, I failed miserably. So I will uh, try to keep it short. Um, thank you, George. Where'd you go? Come here, man. Come here, brother. Thank you, George, welcome, for man. such a beautiful presentation. I appreciate that very, very much. That's right. I love you. Um, I'm very proud of my father for what he accomplished in such a short period of time. And. Uh, it makes my heart sore when I see other people share that pride. So uh, my family thanks you, I thank you, and, uh, and I thank you, and Della, and Bud, and Jack Alberton, who is a wonderful, wonderful actor. He actually also won an Emmy and a Tony and an Academy Award, and he dealt with my father, and that must have been tough. So I thank him as well. And, uh, and, and that's it, thank you very much for this. Please have a drink. and four TV Land Awards are presented by Revlon. Still to come, the all-star survivors pay tribute to the original castaways. Gilligan's Island had it easier than we did. And later, Eric McCormick sings a song for Mary Tyler Moore. Mary, I'm going to turn your world on with a smile. I'm going to do it. On the 2004 TV Land Awards.
Born showman, born businessman, and between us, we got what we wanted. Norman Lear was bold enough to say the American public is ready for this. There's no one who can write with such consistency, with such audacity as David Kelly. It was a continuous laugh. Without Shelton, that show would have never made it into a second season. He was fearless. He wasn't afraid. Presenting TV Land Mobile, TV Land's all-new original series that looks at the titans of television, the producers that turned out it after it. Darren Stock, that's a mogul. This show is the Mary Tyler Moore of the 90s. You know, if you were doing her show in an R-rated kind of way, this is what it would be. He has his finger on the pulse of America. I respect Dick Wolf because he breaks the rules a lot. Jack was larger than life. Grant Tinker has built such respect in the business as well as such fondness. He's just a great guy. I always said I'd made a career out of swimming upstream. It was the best of times. It really was. TV Land Mobile starts Wednesday, April 21st. The 2004 TV Land Awards is presented by Revlon. The difference between natural and stay natural? 16 hours. Stay natural makeup. It's a different kind of color stay. Feels lightweight. Covers flawlessly. Won't rub off. So you stay naturally beautiful for 16 hours. If I were any more natural, <laughs> you'd be blushing. Hey, you Stay natural makeup. Baby. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it. Unforgettable. Find everything you need for spring. One day. Saturday only. That's Sears. All tractors and mowers. Kenmore gas grills and patio sets. New spring fashions. Jeans for the family. All Sony electronics. One day, Saturday only. Sears, good life, great price. Can I ask you something? You're really enjoying your fiber. It's important, you know. Fiber. Five bucks says you guys haven't had any really good fiber lately. Got anything of a fibrous nature in there that might actually taste good? Tempt me with fiber. You're kidding, right? Don't fear the fiber! This is what you want, my friend. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Crunchy, right? Sweet. Good. And one serving has almost 25% of the fiber you need in a day. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Mmm, fiber. Nice. already blazing fast internet for the same great price. So what will you do with the twice as fast power of Comcast high-speed internet? Call now and get Comcast high-speed internet for just $29.99 a month for the next six months. People who participate in Walk America are the best because they raise money that saves babies' lives. Hi, I'm Ken Scott. Please join me in walk to fight premature birth. Is it me or is this a really bad place for the punch bowl? I don't know. I'm not a caterer. I don't. It's like a TV land bidet, ladies and gentlemen, if you. Now, to make sure that our voting procedures are completely on the up and up, we have, of course, accountants. These are the people who collect, collate, and count all the votes, then keep the names of the winners locked in their briefcases. If that sounds dull and boring, it is. And you have to ask yourself, what kind of people would want such a mind-numbing, soul-destroying job like that? Hello.
We represent the respected firm of Quigman and Kosnowski, stir-fried public accountants, Esquire. And we have gone through all of the ballots with a fine tooth comb. A comb we even took the precaution of rinsing first. Mm -hmm. Hair tonic is but a sticky mistress. So true. Anyway, we received hundreds of thousands of voters online. You can imagine what a long line that was, too. Not right. that kind of line, you stupid idiot. The worldwide internet. Right. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, well I'm talking about TVLand.com. People voted for the, the shows they like on their computers. The what? Well, those are the little TV sets that have the typewriters. Oh, I love those. Where do you put the paper? Oh. Anyway, the votes were counted and the results are in this briefcase. Mm -hmm. Which we have secured to our wrists to prevent... I think we were supposed to attach the briefcase to the, to the, to the, to the handcuffs. Yeah, well, that's stupid because the briefcase doesn't have hands. Well, let me see if we can get you a key here. Well, we'll be back. we got to count up the hands. Yeah, I'm going to get a soda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Survivor, here are Rudy Boss, Rob Sesternino, Jenna Maraska, and Tina Wesson. We went to our deserted island willingly. Some in search of fame and fortune, others looking for an unforgettable experience while losing 20 pounds in the process. The people we are here to honor with the Pop Culture Award went to their deserted island by accident. The adventure started as just a three-hour tour. We were determined to stay on our island. They tried everything to get off theirs, unsuccessfully, I might add. We tried to outwit and outlast each other. They tried to get along as a team. She was the most famous ship in history. Forty years after she was lost, her story remains a cautious metaphor for the unbridled hubris of man. Okay, so it ain't the Titanic, but the SS Minnow and her seven stranded castaways have become an American institution since their famous three-hour tour began in 1964. Gilligan's Island was more than just a sitcom. It was a social microcosm of society, and it raised many important questions that are still being debated to this day. How did they survive on that island for all those years? Why were their clothes still in perfect condition? And most importantly, why did the Howells bring luggage on a three-hour tour? Today, 40 years after it premiered, Gilligan's Island is more popular than ever, inspiring dozens of new books, scores of toys and games, and even a musical. And its influence on television continues. I, for one, am filled with a sense of foreboding when I contemplate the future of a culture whose primary source of recreation is watching more and more mindless television. Don't you agree, Fraser? Now, why is Gilligan magnetized? <laughs> Gilligan's Island will forever be a part of our popular culture. And as long as it's on the air, it will continue to inspire the biggest debate in television history. Ginger or Mary Ann. The TV Land Pop Culture Award goes to Gilligan's Island. Please welcome the creator and producers, Sherwood and Lloyd Schwartz, and the cast of Gilligan's Island, Mary Ann, Don Wells, the movie star, Tina Louise, the professor, Russell Johnson, representing the skipper, Alan Hall Jr., is Lana Hale, and Gilligan himself, Bob Denver. Gilligan's Island is now in its 40th year of reruns. And for, for those people who don't think that America is ex exporting to other countries, it's in 46 countries right now. I'm just sorry the skipper, Alan Hale, and Jim Backus was a millionaire or billionaire, and his wife, Natalie Schaefer, aren't here to enjoy this tribute. Well, yeah. I just want to say something. I just want to thank Sherwood Schwartz for bringing family values to television in 1964, and he's still talking about it ever since. Thank you, darling. 
I'd like. <laughs> I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me for the last 27 years. I love your dreams, and thank you. I'd like to say thank you to TV Land, and it's great to be part of a show that continues to bring joy and laughter to so many people. God knows we need laughter in this world today. <laughs> I want to thank the people of New Zealand. Our next presenter is Danny Bonaducci. Danny, yes. Danny is living proof that there is life and success in this business after being a child star. Oh, I'm sorry, I was accidentally reading the introduction of Patty Duke. <laughs> what the heck? It also fits Danny, we know that. So please give him a warm welcome as we go outside to Danny Bonaducci. All right, well, listen, thank you very much, Pat. I am out here. You know, it's nice to be inside with the pheasant under glass and all the movie stars and stuff, but I am out here with the fans. <laughs> Those are the people that keep these shows popular year after year. And one of those fans is Eva Friedman, all the way here from Atlanta, Georgia. And the reason that Eva is all the way out here is because she won a contest through Comcast Cable to be with us here tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Now, Eva is going to help me announce and unveil the winner of our category, Best Deals on Wheels. What is that, you ask? I'll tell you. It's your favorite classic car in television. Everybody grab a hold of the cover, and the winner is... It is the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazzard. The 2004 TV Land Awards are presented by Revlon. This is the reason we are a pop icon right here. Coming up, Sharon Stone. See who wins the award for the Super Superhero as the TV Land Awards continue. Arthur Bindleveek knows being a father takes patience and understanding, which is easy. Will you stop touching me? I'm not touching you. And stop breathing on me, too. When the kids aren't around, from Bill Cosby and Nick at Night comes an original new series, Fatherhood. The 2004 TV Land Awards is presented by Revlon. This is where ordinary lashes end and fantasy begins. Lash fantasy. Nourishing primer. Triple the lift. Intense color. Double the thickness. Five times the impact for longer, thicker, ravishing lashes. Fantasy? Meet reality. Lash fantasy. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. There once was a town that worked so hard, there was just no time for play. But that all changed on this one particular day. We've got a frantic wife trying to book a hotel in Vegas, and her travel agent keeps putting her on hold. Sir, we make it easy to compare hotel options at her convenience. Plus, we have great rates at hotels and popular destinations. Another mission accomplished. Hey, Carmel, your thoughts on the shack? Well, uh, I'm kind of new, but the shack is the best. I bet you still have quick. Yeah, but the shack always has the answers. Uh, what are you guys talking about? 
What are you talking about? Radio Shack's experts will help you with the latest and cool small electronics. So for simple answers to your electronics questions, come to your neighborhood Radio Shack. Bottom line, the Shack will take care of you. One of the can help with my free throw shooting. <laughs> Radio Shack. It starts with a spoon on a dollop, a dollop, a dollop. You can light up a room with a dollop, a dollop of daisies. They say love comes in lots of styles. When you spread it around, you get lots of smiles. Your family and friends are special to you. So give them all a dollop or two. Start with a smile and a dollop. A dollop, a dollop, a daisy. For the first time ever on Disney DVD and video. It's finally here! Discover the cheer. That's wonderful. And catch the spirit of Pooh and Friends' favorite time of year. We got a spring into action! Winnie the Pooh's Springtime with Rue. <laughs> An all-new full-length movie. Share the heartwarming fun. I wish I could make Rabbit happy. And show them you care. You're going to make him very happy. Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue. The perfect gift, now on Disney DVD and Video. Rated G. See you later. It used to take a farmer a day to get to town. Now it takes a minute till his plane comes down. Cause everything is moving too fast. You better save your money cause everything is moving too fast. She acts, she sings, she dances. She's Sybil Shepherd. Tonight we say goodbye to a series that went way beyond successful to become a cultural phenomenon. For six years we watched four pretty, witty, single girls share their honesty, forthrightness, and humor, whether they had successes or disappointments with men. They always had great bodies, great clothes, think Manolo Blahnik, and great punchlines. The series may be over, but women everywhere are already hoping, praying for the inevitable cast reunion. Here's a sneak preview. Just never called me back, Samantha. And we were dating for four weeks. Well, for me, that's a long-term relationship. So what happened? Did you have a fight? No. He died. But he still could have called. Totally. I mean, whatever happened to men with manners? Extinct. They've gone the way of shoulder pads and leg warmers. Do you even think it's possible for us to find someone at this age? I mean, my God, we're, we're classics. You're right. Whoa, post time. Sea biscuit, two o'clock. Oh. Hey, dollface. You got it going on. I've had it going on since before you were in animals. <laughs> I couldn't help but wonder, with all the hip, trendy people, is there any room for someone mature like me? Can you be a classic and still have it going on? Well, I was at home waiting to see if Circle took the square. Samantha, Miranda, and Charlotte had traded their support hoes in favor of dressing like hoes. This thong is killing me. Miranda, that's the price you paid for no visible panty lines. I'm going commando. 
girls let me handle this. Why, hello, stranger. I always love a man who knows his way with velvet robes. What my friend is trying to say is that there's room for a stud like you at the adults' table. Oh. Uh, sorry, ladies. We're full. It's okay. Stay with us. We are? Why, yes. Ooh. Of course we are. You ladies like to party? Do we? <laughs> I just hope you can keep up. <laughs> oh, tell me when to break out my glow stick. <laughs> Meanwhile, I decided to call the one person who could make me feel like a natural woman. Big? It's Miss Bigger. Yeah, drop whoever you're doing and come over here. I have a question I need you to answer. Across town, the girls were answering the question, do you ladies like to party? I don't think so. I've still got holes in my belly button from that last one. Oh, that's it. I've had hot flashes that were more fun than this. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. I'd rather go home and be comfortable with my remote. <laughs> Tonight's matlock is a two-parter. I knew if one person could answer my question, it was Mr. Big. Holy but gold, you look amazing. Looks like the queer eye got to you, too. Shall we? Well, uh, we could go to Carmine's for some low cholesterol Alfredo. Or? Or we could stay in. Turn off the TV, turn off the computer, turn on each other. What about your life alert necklace? Put it on mute. Still got it. Who needs something young and new when the classics still have it? Why couldn't our next presenter have been in that? She's incredibly intelligent and talented, successful and beautiful, which explains why she won't talk to me backstage. Please welcome Sharon Stone. situation comedy is populated with familiar stereotypes. The ever-suffering wife, the sassy secretary, the wacky neighbor, the domestic who really runs the household. You know what I mean. In the world of sitcoms, there isn't really a totally lost cause, even when it comes to the bossiest boss. Bossiest boss. Mel Sharples, Alice. I'm a buttercup to get along with. I don't think a buttercup would keep calling me Diggy. Now hear this! <laughs> the only reason I call you a dingy chick is because it's nicer than calling you a stupid broad. <laughs> Louis De Palma, Taxi. I'm gonna make you regret the day you were born. I'm gonna make sure that every night you get the dirtiest, smelliest cab in the garage. And if there isn't one that's dirty and smelly, then I'm going to get in and smelly and dirty it up myself. Mr. Mooney, The Lucy Show. I want to see all of the weekly statements, yes. and Mr. Cheever is waiting for the Gordon Report. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, did you type up those letters I dictated this morning? Oh, no, sir, not yet, sir. What do you do with your time? <laughs> award for the bossiest boss goes to Danny DeVito as Louis De Palma in Taxi. <laughs> but Danny DeVito can't be with us tonight, but sent us this taped acceptance speech. Take a look. Put them in there. Get them nice and neat. Oh, hello, everybody. I want to thank you so much. As you see, I'm packing. I'm going on a trip. And I want to thank you so much for this honor, the, honoring Louie as the bossiest boss on television. 
It's about time you did. All right, I just want to thank you. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart uh, that, uh, you know, to all the other people that were uh, considered for this award, who didn't win, but I did, Louie won, I want to say this with every fiber of my being. <laughs> Loses. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> when is she coming? What? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. She had a cue and she missed it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. when somebody gets an award and then they do one of those things and they don't come. I c I, I just want, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to be here in person because, you know, I was going away. I was really going away and I changed everything because the idea is that I wanted to be able to say to all the people, to, you know, the ones that are, were nominated and, you know, I wanted to do it in person, because I'm going to do it in person. Ready? <laughs> now, I want to update you on the, you know, what's happening with the, the, the rest of the losers in the garage. I had Nardo, she's, a, she's a, in the art world and she's getting ahead because of, you know, her assets. She's doing really well. And uh, let's see, uh, Bobby Wheeler, the actor, he's, uh, he's doing good. He's got his own uh, cable show. He's selling vegetable chopper machines <laughs> on television. And uh, let's see, and then, okay, Reverend Jim is still a man of the cloth. Uh, in fact, just this weekend, he performed uh, you know, a marriage ceremony up in San Francisco between Alex Rieger and Tony Banta. <laughs> very nice. I'm, I think it's a good thing, you know, an alternate lifestyle. It's very nice. And uh, of course, you know, Ma, she's up in the happy hunting ground with Laka. You know, hello everybody up there. And I was very fortunate because I got to marry Zena, the candy girl. And I am the ruler of the roost. I am the master of all I survey. I, I am the king of the castle. Louis, get off. But I want to tell them some more about what's now. Yes, dear. so much. It was really great. We love being here. The 2004 TV Land Awards continue with more of your favorite stars. Log on to TVLand.com to see exclusive backstage and green room footage from the Coleman Camp. Okay, we'll be sitting boy, girl, boy, girl. Slave and you can sit anywhere. Hey, Wally! something you don't want to tell me. Eva, what's the matter with your eye? Which eye, Mom? <laughs> the school I've decided to go to is... I'm going to Hellman. Oh, a lot happens at the family table. I am too, but thanks for this dinner. What's happening at yours? The 2004 TV Land Awards is brought to you by Sears and Mitsubishi. At Sears, we help you create the good life. The good life is a Kenmore grill with a built-in light. It's the Craftsman Fresh Start system, so your mower starts the first time. Towels that are colorful and comfy, and dryers that dry 22 in one load. The good life is finding something special just for you. So come to the Sears Spring Sale this week, because you deserve the good life. 
Sears. Good life, great price. Orbits. Deal, we've got a big wig who needs a hotel in New York ASAP. No problem. We make it easy to compare hotel options at a glance. Plus, we have great rates at hotels in popular destinations. Another mission accomplished, Deal. If you're one of the millions of Americans who's searching for a way to get back into the rhythm of life, maybe it's time you ask your doctor about Ambien or call toll-free 1-877-9-AMBIEN. will you take to this year's NCAA Men's Final Four? Look for specially marked packages of planters. You can win four tickets to Mr. Peanut's luxury suite. Planters, put out the good stuff. Feeling lucky? You will during your Metro Detroit Four Dealers Green Tag Sales Event. The green tags are everywhere to save you big. Like $4,000 AZD cash on 2004 Ford Freestar. Up to $3,000 cash or 0% financing on most 2004 cars and trucks. Or up to $1,000 lease royalty cash. And now, AZD plan less each can lease a 2004 Explorer XLT for $299 a month with $22.94 due at signing. Hurry before your luck runs out. It all ends March 31st. Works Finola Hughes dares you to ask, how do I look? How do I look dispatches one fashion professional. Your look is a little dated, and I think you need a new bra. And two loved ones. Well, no this. I love the fact that you can still wear the clothes in your heights, but why? To create three anonymous head-to-toe makeovers for one lucky fashion victim who must choose one new look to get a whole new wardrobe. How do I look? With Finola Hughes, Fridays at 9 on Style. Where else? Please welcome Cat Women, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather, and Julie Newmar. <laughs> cat Woman is the alter ego of Selena Kyle, the world's greatest cat burglar. Cunning, stealthy, and mysterious. She is neither superhero nor arch-villain. Sometimes she was the sex kid. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes the steely avenged, but always she was the whip-weaving feline fatale. So small wonder, then, that we have been asked to present the award for favorite fashion plate female. Why didn't we get the men? Well, anyway, here were your choices. Favorite fashion plate female. And Marie, that girl. It's uh, machine washable and 100% acrylic. And it comes in four glorious colors. Dawn pink, daybreak blue, sunrise yellow, and morning becomes Electra. Lisa Douglas, Green Acres. When did you get home? Yes, ma'am. Who are you going to call? Mother. What about? The in-favors voted for a beauty parlor, and I'm the committee. What committee? The cat one committee. <laughs> Green Acres, we are there. June Cleaver, leave it to Beaver. Hey, Mom, don't you see the cold with the heels and the toes out of the shoes? You wear some guys, but it's the latest style. <laughs> for favorite fashion plate female is... Oh, she's so wicked. <laughs> Marlo Thomas! Thank 
thank you very much. It's so very sweet to be receiving an award for that girl now. It's just adorable. And I must tell you that when we were doing the show, her clothes were so fantastic. She was dressed by Halston and Correj and Cardan and Cardinelli. And people used to say, how the hell could she afford those clothes on that salary? <laughs> she never had a job. She never could get a job. But um, it was uh, so much fun. And, and uh, I remember I called her, you know, she'd been asleep for years. I called up Anne Marie and told her that she won it. And she said, oh, Donald. <laughs> so I thought about Teddy today. Uh, he's no longer with us. So in memory of Ted Bessel and all the wonderful years that we had together. Thank you for this. Thank you for remembering that girl. What'll it be, sir? Oh, do you have anything for seasickness? I'm uh, throwing up like Ed McMahon on, oh, pick a day. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Isaac Washington, ladies and gentlemen, from the love boat, Mr. Ted Land. There he is, Ted Land, everybody. Now listen, I want everybody to know that Ted is a very talented director and writer and producer and actor, and he isn't working here for the money, okay? Right. Uh, I'm not working here. Right, easy. Ted, let me ask you. Hmm. In this room, I bet you served a lot of these folks on the love boat. Am I right? Brad, it would be easier to name the folks that I didn't serve. Could you tell me who guest starred on the love boat the most? Well, Brad. Yes. A good bartender is prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. And I just happen to have a clip. <laughs> you look very beautiful. When I was a little girl, and I mean when my Gucci Gucci was only a kitschy kitschy, <laughs> and I was learning how to speak English, I learned what I need to know from television. Now my English is perfect. I speak so well, don't laugh. <laughs> the Republican Party in California asked me to be translated for Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Because his English is not so good, now I know all the important phrases like plop, plop, fif, fif. And where is the beef? Where it is, I don't know, but I know how to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at your favorite retro mercio. Enjoy. Favorite retro mercial. Alter Seltzer, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Those speedy bubbles relieve your upset stomach and hit it fast. For acid indigestion alone, Alter Seltzer gold. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief. Up next, 
Liza Minnelli, and this year's award for Future Classic, when the 2004 TV Land Awards continue. Green Acres is back. The original Simple Life. City folks, country folks, and a couple of dumb tomatoes. Tomatoes are the dumbest of all plants. Watch Green Acres Weekend, April 3rd and 4th on TV Land. Well, their IQ is hardly above what a six-year-old child's is. The 2004 TV Land Awards is brought to you by Ambient and Walgreens. Night. It's when most of the world sleeps. A time to reset our clock so we can begin a new day. It's all part of the rhythm of life. But for many, this healthy cycle is disrupted because sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. While natural sleep is best, Ambien helps you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and wake rested and refreshed, not groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. All people taking sleep medicines have some risk of becoming dependent on the medicine. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for seven to ten days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. In most instances, memory problems can be avoided if you take Ambien only when you're able to get seven to eight hours sleep before you need to be active again. Talk to your doctor about Ambien and wake rested and ready to start your day. Ambien works like a dream. It's baseball season in perfect. Here, bases and cameras are always loaded. RBI stands for really big ice cream. And the home team's record is spotless, as are their uniforms. Of course, life isn't always perfect, so there's Walgreens. Open every day, many 24 hours, with everything needed to have a little fun. That's life. This is Walgreens. This spring, you don't need tools. You need the right tools. And you'll find them at the Sears National Tool Sale. Tools you can count on for the perfect cut. Tremendous accuracy. All the top brands, including Craftsman, America's number one tool brand. The Craftsman circular saw with laser track technology and the 10-inch compound miter saw. And right now you'll find power tools, mechanics tool sets, and tool storage on sale. If you need it, it's at the Sears National Tool Sale. Sears, good life, a great price. say they've improved but you know what they're still not as strong as bounty put them to this same test and they just fall apart only bounty is quilted and it's stronger so it holds up to even the toughest jobs bounty the stronger quilted quicker picker upper this is where ordinary lashes end and fantasy begins Lash Fantasy. Nourishing primer. Triple the lift. Intense color. Double the thickness. Five times the impact for longer, thicker, ravishing lashes. Fantasy? Meet reality. Lash Fantasy. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. The 2004 TV Land Awards is brought to you by Orbis. Destination Orbitz. Deal, I hear you've got big news for travelers. Yes, sir. Now when you log on to Orbitz, it's easy to book your flight and hotel together so you can save even more. Pack your bags, America. Another mission accomplished, Deal. Welcome back, everybody. As we learned earlier, 90% of us growing up used to argue Ginger or Marianne. And of course, the other 5% used to argue Wally or the Beaver. <laughs> so please welcome the men who played those two classic TV characters, Tony Dow and Jerry Mathers. You know, for those of us who were on television back in the 50s and 60s, it's really gratifying that the work that we did back then, some 
40 odd years ago is still appreciated today. But the TV Land Awards isn't just about classic television, it's also about keeping an eye on today's shows to predict the classics of the future. Yeah, and they even have an award for it, the Future Classic Award. And to announce this year's recipient is one of America's most all-round entertainers. Let's see, she won the Oscar, the Emmy, the Golden Globe, the Grammy Legend Award, and of course, the Tony. <laughs> hey, you gave an award? I didn't know that. <laughs> Liza Minnelli. talented people who have kept me company my whole life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, in this era of corporate greed and scandal, <laughs> the Blue family from Fox's Arrested Development make Martha Stewart look like Mother Teresa. <laughs> now, I get to experience in this series, the whole bunch of them up close, this crazy mad family. And personal, they are. All of the things that we love, rich, spoiled, privileged, cold-hearted, dysfunctional. They give a whole new meaning to the term family values. Bluth Development Company President George Bluth was arrested tonight for defrauding investors and using the company as his personal piggy bank. They are gonna keep dad in prison at least until this gets all sorted out. Also, the attorney said that they're gonna have to put a halt in the company's expense account. <gasps> Interesting, I would have expected that after they're keeping dad in jail. Arrested Development is about a typical American family that is in crisis. That is one of the most whacked out families I have ever seen. Buster is right. You get off on being withholding, don't you? Buster says that? Here's a candy bar. Oh, look. No, I'm withholding it. Look at me getting off. These characters are thrown into some very strange, although vaguely credible kinds of situations. And I just love that. I love seeing those kind of characters just get themselves deeper and deeper into trouble. So, this is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Mm. Trick is something a whore does for money. <laughs> Candy. Arrested Development is uh, the future classic. There is nothing like it on TV. It breaks new ground. It is completely funny. It's truly astounding. You love it here? Ah, I'm having the time of my life. Hey, people. <laughs> On my heart, I am so thrilled to have been a small part of it. Please, welcome the brilliantly, brilliantly talented cast of Arrested Development. Accepting TV Land's Future Classic Award on behalf of Arrested Development are Joe Bluth, Will Arnett, Michael Bluth, Jason Bateman, George Michael Bluth, Michael Sarah, Tobias Funk, David Cross, Lindsay Funk, Porsche de Rossi, Buster Blue, Tony Hayes, Lady Funk, Alia Shawcat, and Lucille Blue, Jessica Walter. Uh, we're so flattered to be in this illustrious company. Uh, th this is a huge, huge honor for us. And, and, you know, to be considered a future classic, I mean, it's, it's a very daunting, daunting premise for us. I hope we live up to it. Uh, but uh, TV Land is, is the authority on, on quality, and it's every uh, television writer and, and television actor's dream to be on it, so we're very, very flattered. Um, and on behalf of uh, my fellow writers, who are right now laboring on uh, tomorrow's cutting-edge comedy, 
and uh, hopefully tomorrow's cutting edge cliches and predictable one-liners. Uh, this, this incredible cast of, of miscreants and talented funny people. Um, and the executive producers, uh, Ron Howard, Television Land Staple, David Nevins, and Brian Grazer, and myself, we just thank you so much. This is a huge, huge honor. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, George Lopez. Thank you. Tonight, we celebrate the life of a dear friend of this show and of TV Land and of Nick at Night, who, who left us too soon. A few days before his 55th birthday, and he was the first host ever of this show, Mr. John Ritter. Yes. Now, you know, John never aspired to be Hamlet yet. He was a true actor in every, in every sense of the word. And he was an actor of the people, and the people truly loved him for that. And he will always be remembered for his goofy, physical humor with the drawstring pants, Jack Tripper, on the long-running hit comedy series, Three's Company. We know Three's Company, right? We love Three's Company. That's right. It was his role on Eight Simple Rules that was much closer to the real John, a devoted husband and a father who was more about hugs than humiliation. And it wasn't, it wasn't hard for him to play a man who loved his children. John Ritter won almost every award available to a television actor, but more importantly, he won the hearts of fans and of all of us, and he had the uncommon gift, and he truly did, I mean, of making everybody that he came in contact with feel special. I, I, I was doing my pilot, and John made me feel like if I was in the business as long as, as, long as he was, and I will never, ever forget that. And, and he, 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 the people that he worked with, he made them feel not only like a colleague, but also a friend. And that's how we should always remember Mr. John Ritter. May I have permission to call on you this evening? Good afternoon, my dear ladies. Isn't it a positively groovy day? Spirits of beauty that dost consecrate with thine own hues all that thou dost shine upon of human thought and form. Stop it, Major. Mr. <laughs> Franklin, I'm Reverend Chaffield. I came as soon as I got here. I'm Jack. Jack Triple. <laughs> Selling dreams, but I do sell office supplies. Yeah, I, I prefer to call them dreams. Community now. I can't believe it. Welcome to work. Well, that's darn nice of you. Let's live it up a little. This is the start of a whole new life for us. Let's just go out there and wake up. Oh my. We're just one big happy family. Give me a kiss, Arnold. I think we might have something going for us here. I did that to make you feel at home. <laughs> At Comcast, we bring television, communication, and technology services to people all over America. We're proud of what we do, but we're even prouder now that Comcast has joined together with the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. To help them bring their messages. Bring their messages of help, hope, and warning to our customers. Because while we're engineers, installers, and customer service representatives, we're also neighbors, friends, and parents. For over 40 years,
Comcast has been involved in the communities where our employees live and work. Supporting education. Good job. Encouraging volunteerism. And promoting healthy families and neighborhoods. Comcast salutes our employees for supporting their local United Way in the effort to keep our communities strong. The 2004 TV Land Awards is brought to you by Sears and Andean. At Sears, we help you create the good life. The good life is a Kenmore grill with a built-in light. It's the Craftsman Fresh Start system, so your mower starts the first time. Towels that are colorful and comfy, and dryers that dry 22 in one load. The good life is finding something special just for you. So come to the Sears Spring Sale this week, because you deserve the good life. The Sears, good life, great price. If you're one of the millions of Americans who's searching for a way to get back into the rhythm of life, maybe it's time you ask your doctor about Ambien or call toll-free 1-877-9-AMBIEN. Take a farmer a day to get to town. Now it takes a minute till his plane comes down, cause everything is moving too fast. You better save your money, cause everything is moving too fast. Welcome back. You know, let me tell you what a small world it is. Eliza and I were briefly engaged, ladies and gentlemen. It only lasted three rounds, and we split shortly after the standing eight count. <laughs> she left me when she found out I wasn't Tommy Toon. But I love Liza. <laughs> On Medical Center, he was the George Clooney of his day. On Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, she was the entire ER. Oh, that's got to hurt. Please welcome Chad Everett and Jane Seymour. to present the award for your choice of Superest Superhero. Yes. This collection of crime fighters has several things in common. They all have a secret identity, and they have at least one supernatural power. Mm. And they all wear a costume you wouldn't dare wear out in public, at least <laughs> not on the street I grew up on, unless uh, you truly possess uh, supernatural power. Uh, here are the choices for the Superest Superhero. Superest Superhero, The Incredible Hulk. Wonder Woman. Electro Woman and Dyna Girl. Superhero is Linda Carter yeah. as a Wonder Woman. Of competition. Girl power. Uh, 
I want to thank TV Land, first of all, uh, and of course the fans who voted for me. I, um, you know, I, I was, uh, I'm very surprised. So thank you to the fans in particular. You know, Wonder Woman really changed my life. Uh, I played a superhero, but in truth, there are superheroes who are out there fighting fires and being policemen for us and fighting in wars, whether we agree with them or not. I've got the greatest guy in the world. We live in Washington, D.C. now. And the two most interesting people that I know, thank, I thank them from the bottom of my heart for putting up with Wonder Woman as a mother, Jessica and James. Again, I'm really honored to uh, be thought of in this way tonight, and I thank you so much. Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? There is an invisible plane that is illegally parked on Sunset Boulevard. If this is your plane, please move it immediately, or it will be towed. Thank you. We've got a frantic wife trying to book a hotel in Vegas, and her travel agent keeps putting her on hold. Sir, we make it easy to compare hotel options at her convenience. Plus, we have great rates at hotels and popular destinations. Another mission accomplished. The difference between natural and stay natural? 16 hours. Stay natural makeup. It's a different kind of color stay. Feels lightweight. Covers flawlessly. Won't rub off. So you stay naturally beautiful for 16 hours. If I were any more natural, <laughs> you'd be blushing. Hey, you stay natural makeup. Oh, baby. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it. Unforgettable. It used to take a farmer a day to get to town. Now it takes a minute till his plane comes down. Cause everything is moving too fast. You better save your money cause everything is moving too fast. Find everything you need for spring. One day, Saturday only. At Sears. All tractors and mowers. Kenmore gas grills and patio sets. New spring fashions. Jeans for the family. All Sony electronics. One day, Saturday only. Sears. Good life, great price. Whopper, no onions. Oh, that's good. Uh, Whopper, no lettuce, double tomato, double bacon. Yeah. You copied my Whopper? One of these allergy medicines can give you long-lasting seasonal allergy relief without the risk of drowsiness. But Allegra 180 can. For people 12 and over, side effects are low and may include headache, cold, or backache. Choose long-lasting prescription Allegra. 
Now Comcast Digital Cable puts you in control of hundreds of movies and shows with On Demand. Check out what's new. All right, you guys ready? When you're ready for action, order SWAT. The only thing to fear is fear himself. No fear of late fees when you order Freddy vs. Jason. And Bad Boys 2 begins the instant you start the movie. What can go wrong with that? Now, On Demand. Pick a show, play it whenever with Comcast Digital Cable. If you don't have it, get it today. Looking around for a practical, affordable car? Running over here, running over there. It would be a lot easier to go to vhicks.com. vhicks.com has everything you need to know. Models, packages, standard equipment, options, reviews, and prices, all in one website. Making shopping for a practical car, well, a lot more practical. The all-new, easy-to-use vhicks.com. Roadmap to the automotive world. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, Lord of the Rings just beat McMillan and wife. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, if I'd been born a foot shorter and a lot more talented, I'd be Ben Stiller. So please welcome Ben Stiller. <laughs> The TV Land Award for Groundbreaking Show goes to a series that elevated sitcoms to an art form, The Mary Tyler Moore Show. It won a record 27 Emmys, including Outstanding Comedy of the Year in three of its seven seasons. Mary Richards was single and didn't mind. She wasn't desperately seeking a man to marry. She was an independent woman with a career, warm, loving, and vulnerable, with an extended family of friends and co-workers who spoke to each other as if they were holding real conversations, not merely setting up punchlines. But make no mistake, there were laughs and plenty of them. The writing was as brilliant as the casting, and the show was simply a realistic depiction of a modern thinking, caring woman in the 70s. That's why it was groundbreaking. You know what? You got spunk. Well, I hate spunk. I remember when the Mary Tyler Moore show was on, and I remember it really having a profound influence on me because here was a young, single woman working in television, really making it on her own, as the, as the theme song said. And it was really kind of uh, revolutionary in that regard. Read it. <laughs> All right. Out loud! Mary Tyler Moore show was perhaps the greatest show that was ever on the air as far as I'm concerned. It was beautifully written and, of course, beautifully performed. I think a man should be virile and macho and just reeking with masculinity. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, thank you, Don. Do you have anything with hair? They were real people, playing real people. And that's important. Thank you. I usually look so much better than this. One of our famous Mary Tyler Moore episodes came from my mother and aunt breaking up at a funeral. And that became Chuckles the Clown. Chuckles the Clown brought pleasure to me. And what did Chuckles ask in return? In his own words, a little song, a little salsa, Donnie. There was something identifiable about Mary Richards' vulnerability, I guess. Here was a really smart girl. Mary was very bright, very successful, but the only thing you knew for absolute sure was that she loved her friends and her friends loved her back. I think we all need some Kleenex. There's some on Mary's desk. <laughs> they were definitely a family, and uh, coming goodbye to each other was a little bit more than we out there in the great unseen audience could take. I'm not kidding. I think I've shed a tear or two. Thank you for being my family. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore show was groundbreaking simply because it's a, of its excellence. It was really bright, intelligent, 
extremely funny, brilliantly acted, wonderfully directed. It was a great show. You're gonna make it after all. Here with a special tribute to the Mary Tyler Moore Show from Will and Grace, Eric McCormick. Some people meditate, some people mope, some people read to relax. I have another way I use to cope with the pressures, the pains, the what do I do? I turn on the TV and kick off my shoes. I calm down the moment I see her there, throwing her cap in the brisk Minneapolis hair. Mary, Mary, Mary Tyler Moore. It reminds me of my youth, the humor, the truth, the laughs, the tears. It can't be 26 years. I adore Mary Tyler Moore. Quips. Want some chocolate? Sure, why not? Just place it here. Right on my hands. Right, kid? Unassuming Murray and his ever balding head. And the quintessential egotist, that newsman known as Ted. Phyllis with her causes. She was always off the wall. Oh, and there was Lars, her phantom husband. We never saw at all. Sue Ann, who was always on the make or flaking crust. And I very nearly died the night that chuckles bit the dust. Mary, 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 Tyler Moore. Every episode a gem at WJM, I was there from the start. I knew all the parts by heart. I just adore Mary Tyler Moore. Mr. Grant was great. He always knew just what to do. He was gruff, he was warm. Still, Mary couldn't call him. <laughs> Let us not forget Georgette, the perfect mate, but had. And the wondering if Mary to bed. You know what I mean? Mary, everybody! Mary, Mary, Tyler Moore. What a series, what a show. The gang I drew to know, the laughs, the tears, they have been part of me for years. I just adore Mary. Late at night, when I'm alone, she's a friend I've always known. They're all there on my TV, and the whole damn thing, sorry Mary, darn thing is free. And though time can't be controlled, Mary Richards won't grow old. Thank God, she'll be in reruns for a long, long while so she can always turn the world on with her smile.
to the Mary Tyler Moore Show family, winner of TV Land's groundbreaking award. Accepting for the Mary Tyler Moore Show are Gordy Howard, John Amos, Lou Grant, Ed Asner, Rhoda Morgenster, Valerie Harper, Phyllis Lindstrom, Morris Leachman, Murray Slaughter, Gavin McLeod, Joanne Niven, Betty White, and Mary Richards, Mary Tyler Moore. communicate how thrilled and touched and deeply moved I am by all of this and Eric wherever you are thank you for that lovely lovely tribute um, this being here tonight and accepting this award reminds me of how badly reviewed we were by a brought-in audience that CBS hired <laughs> to judge our efforts uh, it turns out that it still lives in history as the worst testing show of any that had ever been shown. Um, so the lesson is, uh, believe in yourself. Know that you're doing good work. Don't think about the awards to come or what it all means. Just concentrate on it. I want to thank all of this group of people who I love dearly. And I want to thank Grant Tinker for having put it all together to begin with. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are the happiest seven years of my life. It was a gift from God. I thank God. And I thank every one of the people who created this beautiful sphere that we were allowed to live in, love in, and enjoy for seven years. I, uh, this is, <laughs> this equals all of them. Thank you. My phone number is area code 310. <laughs> to Alan Burns and Jim Brooks who called me one day and said, we think we might have a job for you. Thank you so much for the job. God bless you. That is Betty's number. I only can echo what Ed said, uh, because for me too, it was the happiest seven years of my life. And I remember when we started our last show in front of the live audience, Jay Sandwich, our resident director, is so brilliant. He said, okay kids, you're never gonna have anything like this in your career again. Just take that show, put it up on the top of a bureau, and go on and making a living. And thank God we've all been able to do that. Thank you. Okay, let's, uh, let's not wait any longer. I don't think Robert Blake is going to show up, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you, good night. You've been amazing. Drive safely, don't break a hip, have fun. Thank you.